welcome to the project demonstration of RFID and IoT based advanced advanced carboking system so in this project the main features are we can store the uh, vehicle numbers nothing but the other vehicle numbers with respect to RFID tags and these can be stored from a browser and those uh, stored tags only can be authenticated for parking slots and next if uh, the person exit uh, um, the person while uh, the person entering the car entering or exiting the system will capture the time of the both and then it will calculate the bill and that will be displayed on the LCD screen each tag will be come with uh, 1000 rupees predefinedly stored inside the raspberry pi and uh, so whenever the car park enters so like into the parking slot then the system will capture the time as a t1 and when it exits the respective car time t1 and it will be capture the time 2 for exit and uh, that will be minus and then it will calculate the bill and that will be displayed on the LCD screen and here one more feature is like we can store the tags we can clear the tags and we can see the data log of the vehicles uh, like when uh, the particular vehicle entered and uh, when the particular vehicle exits these all will be uh, get, get the inf information from the web application so the whole system driven by the Raspberry Pi 3 and here for uh, RFID tag reading purpose we are using EM18 RFID module and next uh, for uh, displaying the status on the LCD we are using 16 by 2 LCD and for gate opening and closing purpose we are making use of L293D motor driver and this is a breadboard in order to distribute the power supply throughout the modules and uh, this is the main uh, battery power supply for the motor and this is the adapter power supply for our raspberry pi so let us see the in uh, connections so we have interface the rfid reader it's pin number 15 as it's a hardware receiver pin and the lcd modulate pin number 9 10 11 17 22 27 pins directly and l293d at 23 and 24 pins so let us see the demonstration before switching on the kit, we need to enable the hotspot as our kit required the hotspot to send the data. So for that, go to hotspot uh, settings and change the hotspot name to project 5120. All are small letters without any space and the password should be 129 and AP band is going to be 2.4 gigahertz. After the change is done, you can switch on the hotspot, no need of data actually. So once you switch on the hotspot and then one more application we need to install is network analyzer. So this is the network analyzer application you should install from the play store. That application purpose is to get the IP address of our raspberry pi. Right. So it will take maximum 15 to 20 seconds for booting time. Once the booting is successfully done then the system will connect to your mobile phone. You can check that in your hotspot device. One device is connected. And now. So there is a welcome message on the LCD screen and now go to the network analyzer application and go to options do LAN scan scan there we get the raspberry pi ip address so this is raspberry pi ip address below one is above one is our phones and below one is the raspberry pi address so ip address is 192.168.210.198 note on that and go to google chrome enter here so 192.168.210.198.5000 sorry it's not dot it's a colon 5000 that is very important it's a colon 5000 so once you enter that the system leads to a this web page so here we can see that so the stored data so the vehicle number and at which time it was entered and it is it was uh, which time it was exit is a previous data and you can check the store tags also so only one tag I have stored one. So let's store the remaining tags. So for storing purpose, enter here. So you can enter the tag submit. So you can get the particular tag numbers on this uh, RFID tags. So you can type the particular RFID numbers and submit that. On submission of successful, so there will be provide the information data update successfully. So you can see the now what is the stored tax. So now we have the four tax. So you can see the data and let me clear that for fresh upload. So only do clear data. So now the data got cleared. So you can see that there is no data here. So now let us go with the demonstration. So consider this is tag 1. 
so vehicle entering sorry we need to connect this battery as it will show the gate purpose opening and closing next vehicle so after vehicle exits then only the system will display the data on the cloud platform regarding the at which time the vehicle enters and at which time the vehicle exits so now let us see closely we can exiting calculate bill and how much of bill was done and uh, as we discussed 1000 rupees is the initial balance it will be minus and we click exit if it is low balance so the system prompt us low balance please pay by cash that will be displayed on the lcd screen so when the system prompts us to show the tag then only we need to uh, show the rfid tag so when it's gives a wrong error i think we need to store this 71c we need to check about that done so now we can go with to check the stored data so previously we have cleared that now the four vehicles entered and exit times captured and we can see that along with date time seconds hours so now i want to clear that so let me uh, see show tags so these are the tag numbers we have now go with clear the tags so now you can check what are the store tags there is no tags so now if i show that access denied for the card one right so let me store one tag so b09 right submit so now the tag stored and uh, store tags we can see only one tag got stored so now this can be accessed by the system right so done. in this manner we can provide the uh, like uh, for respected tags for authentication purpose for in car parking system along with balance so after that don't forget to remove this battery so when you say for the extra battery.